As you can see, we've got perfect weather for testing a 4x4, and as luck would have it, a 4x4 is what we have to test. The new Discovery Sport is the first of a new family of Land Rovers bearing the Discovery name, and replaces the old Freelander. We're going to put it to the test to see if it builds on the old car's strengths as a tow car. Certainly the Land Rover's facts and figures look promising. The SD4 Auto we've been testing has a curb weight of 1863 kilograms, a legal towing limit of 2200 kilograms, and a nose weight limit of 100 kilograms. The high curb weight gives a healthy 85% match figure of 1584 kilos. We hitched up to a Swift Challenger 645 SE weighing just over 1500 kilos and put the Discovery Sport to the test on the road and at the test track. Stability wise the Discovery Sport picks up where the Freelander left off. It feels very secure at the legal limit and will happily tow a big twin axle tourer even on a windy day. The Land Rover makes a decent fist of our lane change test too. The car leans hard when pushed and on our fastest runs we could feel the caravan shoving at the back of the car. Even so, the Discovery Sport never let the Tourer take charge. The Land Rover is a powerful tow car as well as a stable one. There's no arguing with the Discovery Sport's performance. The SD4 engine easily copes with steep hills and can make the most of any overtaking opportunity. In other respects though, it's slightly disappointing. Refinement and emissions both fall well short of the best cars in the mid-sized SUV class. In September 2015, a new engine lineup will address these shortcomings. In the meantime, the Discovery Sport has several advantages over cleaner, more economical rivals. For one thing, most have five seats, while the Land Rover has room for seven. The cabin really is one of the Discovery Sport's strengths. There's lots of space in the front and middle rows, and even the third row isn't too cramped if those in the middle don't mind sliding their seats forward slightly. With every seat upright, there's very little room for bags, but fold seats six and seven away, and the boot is a healthy size. With the middle row tipped out of the way, the Discovery Sport rivals many estate cars for luggage space. It's hard not to be impressed with the Discovery Sport. It tows beautifully and the interior is very practical. When the new engines arrive, a good car will become even better.